Happy Independence Day, everyone! What a beautiful day it is to celebrate the birth of our nation. In honor of the day, I'd like to do a special edition YouTube video in which I tell the lesser-known story of the day that has to do with Caesar Rodney. Caesar Rodney was born in Delaware. He was one of eight children. His father died when he was 17, and so he put his own life on hold and helped his mother raise his six younger siblings, and he ran the 800-acre family farm. When the children were old enough to take care of themselves, he was in his late 20s, and he entered public service. He was a sheriff, he was a justice of the peace, and served in a lot of different roles. He also struggled with poor health. He had asthma, he had bouts of gout that made it very difficult to walk, but the worst thing that he had to deal with was a skin cancer. He had a tumor on his cheek that he had removed, and it left a deep gash, and so he kept it covered with a green scarf. But unfortunately, that surgery did not take care of the cancer completely, and he was urged to seek treatment in England, and his family begged him to go. But America was having this rising talk of independence and wanting to break away from England, and he was so dedicated to the American cause that it prevented him from going and seeking treatment in England. He was one of three delegates elected to the Continental Congress to represent Delaware. He was elected, Thomas McKean and George Reed were the three people that were elected. He was also appointed Brigadier General in his own province back in Delaware, and so he was doing double duty. He was working as a congressman and he was doing the Brigadier General duties as well. On June 7th, 1776, Richard Henry Lee, a delegate from Virginia, proposed the resolution that the colonies break away from England and become free and independent states. As the congressmen were talking about it, it became clear that a unanimous vote was going to be crucial to this. As they kept talking, they started realizing that Delaware was going to be one of the tipping states, tipping it one way or the other. George Reed was against the resolution because he thought it was too premature, he thought it was unwise to break away from England, and Thomas McKean was for the vote, and it became clear that they needed Caesar Rodney's vote to swing Delaware. Caesar Rodney was at home, and he was doing some of his Brigadier General duties, but then he also, after he was finished with that, he was feeling very tired and very ill, so he went home to rest. Thomas McKean sent a messenger to Caesar Rodney saying, you need, you need to get to the state house in Philadelphia. We're gonna vote on this, we really need your vote. When Caesar Rodney got the message, he got on his horse and he started riding from Dover, Delaware, 80 miles to the Philadelphia state house. And he rode through the night in a violent thunderstorm. He was still not feeling well, but he pushed through. He only stopped to change horses and he got there to the state house just as they were calling the meeting to order, the meeting that they were going to use to vote on this resolution. They went around to the states and um, the states cast their vote, the delegates cast their individual votes. When they got to Delaware, Caesar Rodney stood to his feet and this is what he said. As I believe the voice of my constituents and of all sensible and honest men is in favor of independence and my own judgment concurs, I vote for independence. Then he fell exhausted back into his seat. The resolution passed that day. They voted to break away from England and become free and independent states, the United States of America. On August 2nd, they had a signing. 56 men signed the Declaration of Independence, declaring their independence from England. Every man who signed that put his life, his livelihood, put everything on the line. They risked their lives. They put a price on their head. If the British were to catch anyone whose name was on that list, they would face death. They would be accused of treason. But every man knew that and they signed it anyway. Caesar Rodney had a double layer to it. Not only did he have that, if they were to catch him because his name was on that, he would suffer consequences. He was also signing away any chance he had of treatment for his cancer because the only place he could have gotten treated for it was England. And he knew that, but he signed it anyway. He signed it sacrificially because he believed in 
the freedom of speech, freedom of religion, everything that they wrote in that declaration. He was thinking of the generations after him. The Delaware State Quarter has a man on it riding a horse and on the edge of that quarter, you can see the name Caesar Rodney. This is the land of the free because of the brave, because of those who sacrificed for us. So thank you, Caesar Rodney, and all who have sacrificed so much for this beautiful land we call home.